Hi there, my name is Curtis Brooks. I'm a transformational speaker and my job is to help professional men and women create a winning mindset through my transformational speaking, workshops, training, and coaching. And now today we're talking about finding your purpose. How do you find your purpose? Well, in Curtis-like fashion, what I always like to do is read a definition of the word purpose. And so here it goes out of dictionary.com. The reason for which something exists or is done made, used, an intended or desired ins uh, result, end, aim, or goal, determination, a resoluteness, uh, the subject in hand, the point at issue, practical result, effect, or advantage to act, uh, the act of good or for the purpose of. And so on today, again, we are talking about finding your purpose. How do you find your purpose? One of the things that I did do each week is a uh, another Facebook Live event there uh, uh, using Wirecast. And I talked about passion and purpose being completely two different things. And I want to really just kind of dig into finding your purpose and how you find your purpose. I broke down a couple of different things here. Um, one, or actually several different things. The way that you find your purpose, the way that you find your purpose is to really, if you don't know your purpose, and I'm going to venture to say that finding your purpose, really, that is the number one goal. Finding your purpose. How do you find your purpose? Many of us have done all kinds of different jobs. We've done different things. We have claimed ourselves to be this and claimed ourselves to be that. But it was all in way of trying to find our purpose. And when we don't know our purpose, it becomes very hard to satisfy that, that appetite, that knowing of who am I? What am I supposed to do here? And I like the word find because, in fact, that's what we will have to do. You will have to find your purpose. In the midst of all these different things that we do, you'll have to find your purpose. It will have to be something that you will discover. You will have to discover your purpose. You will have to uncover all those different things that have kept our lives hidden, if you will, almost buried, if you will. And it could be childhood drama. It could be abuse in any kind of way. It can also be that, again, just lack of knowledge. Lack of education. Again, I'm not saying that you have to be a professor or you have to be highly educated, but lack of knowledge, not knowing who you are. So again, how do we find our purpose? The challenge sometimes is that we don't want to find it. We think our purpose is just going to fall in our lap. We think our purpose is just going to fall on us and say, oh, okay, I know what I need to do. That's not the truth. The truth is, is that you'll have to find your purpose. You'll have to find it. You'll have to discover your purpose. And one of the best things that I've discovered in life and finding my purpose is that I connected with people who knew their purpose. I connected with people that were doing the same thing that I wanted to do. I connected with people because their message connected with me. Their message resonated with my heart. So that's how I was able to find my purpose. And rest assured, that's going to be the way that you find your purpose. You'll find your purpose by connecting with others who are doing the very thing that you want to do. And in most cases, we're going to do all kinds of different jobs. We're going to say a lot of different things that we didn't mean to say. But it's all in finding our purpose. That is the number one goal for all of us. Most of us are trying to find our way. We're trying to, oh, what is, what is my life about? What am I supposed to be doing here on this earth while I'm here? And rest assured, when you find your purpose, then you'll figure out what you're supposed to be doing. But until then, if you have not found your purpose, if you have not found your purpose, rest assured, you have the awesome 
ability, I guess, in your own strength, in your own will to say, you know what? I don't know my purpose as of yet, but I'm going to connect with someone who does know their purpose. That's how I found my purpose, and I guarantee you that's how you're going to find your purpose. If you don't know your purpose yet, connect with someone who does know their purpose. Connect with someone's message who, that resonates with your heart. Because after all, your purpose is connected to your heart. Your purpose is your lifeline. Because without a purpose, we're all suffering on here, on this earth. And it doesn't mean because you have a purpose that you're not going to go through challenges. Absolutely not. But when you have a purpose, your purpose allows you to drive forward. Your purpose allows you to say, you know what? Yes, I know that things are going to come against me. I know there are going to be challenges. Because you have a purpose, again, it does not void those things. But because you have a purpose, you can figure some things out. You can get over those obstacles. You can get around them. But you must have a purpose. And again, how you find your purpose is connecting with someone who does have their purpose. Connect with someone who's, who has a message already that resonates with your heart. And most of, us, most of us don't want to believe that your purpose is spiritual. I didn't say religious. I said your purpose is spiritual. Your purpose is a connection to the rest of the world. Your purpose is a connection to me, to all those who are near and far. Your purpose is not selfish. Your purpose is to link to the world outside of ourselves. And until we find our purpose, in most cases, we do things in a selfish manner. I don't believe that's our intention, but Without a purpose that includes me, you, and the rest of the world, what's it all worth? Sure, the argument can be in different ways. The argument could be big or small. But nevertheless, without a purpose, you and I have felt or know what it feels like to be without a purpose. Because it feels empty. It feels that we're just wandering. It feels where we have no home, if you will. But once we have a purpose, we can now begin to dig in and create a foundation. Get ourselves kind of nestled in and allow the roots of our hope and our dreams to grow. To become firmly planted. So if you don't have a purpose, or you have not found your purpose, link up with someone who does have a purpose. I think the biggest thing in finding your purpose is we have to be honest. There must be a level of honesty within our own selves. We must be able to admit that uh, I'm not sure what my purpose is. We must be able to ask questions. How do I find my purpose? Because the very question to what you're desiring is really just your moments away from the answer. By asking the question, you're just moments away from the answer. But if we are not in a place where we're ready to acknowledge that we don't know something, there can be no question. And if there's no question, there is no possibility of change. So what questions are you willing to ask yourself? And once you get to a place that you are, I guess, willing to ask yourself those questions, the tough questions, the many questions that, or the many tough questions that most of us will at least get to a place or a time and a place in our lifetime to ask those questions. And as sometimes painful as those questions are, it's much more painful to not ask them. It's much, much more painful to not, to 
have not arrived at that place. And be prepared to ask yourself those tough questions. I know it's hard sometimes admitting that we just don't know. Who wants to be wrong? And it's not necessarily being wrong. Or who wants to feel that they don't know? But in truth, sometimes we just must go through. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges that we're having is that we're afraid to go through. We're afraid to go through and deal with the moments of just not knowing. And sometimes those moments are last moments, they're lasting moments, I should say. Sometimes those moments last for weeks, months, and sometimes years. But the reality of it is, is that in the end, it's well worth it. It's well worth it just going through, saying, you know what? I don't know. I don't know my purpose. How do I find my purpose? And again, just admitting that you don't know really essentially clears the slate. It allows you to start fresh. It opens the door for other questions. That's how change comes about, folks. Change comes about through questions and and be willing and being willing to go through the uncertainty, levels of uncertainty, the stages of uncertainty, and at times being comfortable with being uncertain, being comfortable with not knowing. And this is really awesome because furthermore, and finding our purpose. Look at my notes here. Furthermore, in about finding our purpose, we also have to look at, we also must look at our, my notes here. we also must look at our health. Health is a huge factor in finding our purpose. We don't want to be unhealthy to the place where once we do find our purpose, we can't fulfill it. So health is a huge factor and Finding your purpose. Again, finding your purpose first and foremost. But also, in conjunction with finding your purpose, is your health. Taking care of yourself. Making sure your body is healthy to fulfill your purpose. And again, it, it, it's so much truth, so much validity in finding your purpose through others. And making the connection through those people that... You don't even know sometimes. You don't have to know them. But sometimes their message, a lot of times, someone else's message, the fact that they found their purpose is purpose enough to link up with them and find your own purpose. That their message resonates with your heart. I'm not saying, as I said in the earlier broadcast, I'm not saying that you are making yourself a duplicate. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you've connected with someone who's found their purpose. Connecting with someone who has a message that resonates with our heart. That's the reason why there are so many similarities, folks. It's not because we're so different. In truth, it's because a lot of what we're saying from one person to the next person really is the same message in different ways folks this is just a matter of semantics in a lot of ways a lot of times we're saying the same message but perhaps speaking to a different audience so when you find your purpose you'll also find your message and when you find your message man You've connected with the rest of the world. When you've found your message, you're stepping out of that selfish way of doing things, but now becoming a servant. It's how can I help you? How can I help you accomplish your dream, accomplish your goal? Because the bigger and really just the brunt of all of this is finding your purpose. 
is making a connection with those who know their purpose. A message that resonates with your heart, my heart. But again, health is just as important. Health, and I'm not saying working out like some guru or something, but I am saying taking care of our bodies, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Getting the proper rest. Whether it's eight hours for you or six hours, but getting rest, knowing when your body, your body is saying enough. But again, when you find your purpose, all of these things will fall into place. Not magically, but because we applied knowledge to it, because we sought after it, we wanted it, we desired it. And this will probably go down as one of the best Facebook events that I've done. Because ultimately, it's about finding your purpose. That's what all this is about. Even before we find our purpose, many of us are saying, Oh, I'm living. This is great. This is life. This is wonderful. But truly, if you haven't found your purpose, you're just doing because living is helping others find your purpose. And again, once you have found your purpose, that's when you will begin to live life and see that this life will have anything that you desire in abundance. But you must find your purpose first and connect your health with your purpose. Organize. It takes being organized to find your purpose. Find your purpose first. Connect your health. Get organized. Organization is huge because in order to find your purpose, you really must clear the path to find it. And if our mind is cluttered with a bunch of junk and taking care of this and taking care of this and really just going over and beyond and just not being where we're at. Being organized is huge, just as important as health is. Again, the number one goal is finding your purpose. Number two, health. Number three, being organized. And not in an order, but again, first and foremost, is finding your purpose. And Facebook live events to follow, I will be talking about finding your purpose because really, that's the, that's the extent of it. Because until we find our purpose, we're just doing things to keep occupied, doing things to stay busy until we find our purpose. Because your purpose, when you find your purpose, that's when the work begins. That's when you actually become a true servant. Because my purpose can serve you, your purpose can serve me, and again, beyond the doors or the ideas and the dreams of our own hope. Your purpose, my purpose, when they connect, we essentially are saying the same thing. What will your purpose connect with? Who will, who will you connect your purpose with? Again, making health a part of your purpose. Making organization being a part of your purpose. And I'm not just saying being organized in the sense of, well, my desk is clear. I'm talking about being organized in here. And when you find your purpose, your purpose will help you to get organized. Because now, guess what? You've discovered to really go after the things that are relevant to your purpose. Too often, we have all these things that are going on in here. And really, most of them, there's no relevancy in them. But... We store them just for, I guess, informational purposes or reasons. But in truth, 
a lot of what we store in here really has nothing to do with our purpose. But until we find our purpose, we find ourselves just doing and doing and doing until we get to that place. So the moral of the story is that we have to be more than just doers. We have to find our purpose. Do more than just being active. I'm doing something. I'm just keeping myself busy. But really, we're just being busy bees. Because until we find our purpose, what's all this about? What's all the collecting of stuff? I found myself just at some time or at a point in my life and just buying stuff buying things and really I had to stop and think and say, wait a minute, what am I doing with all of this? And I, as I said in an earlier broadcast is that I found myself doing less with more. And previously I was doing more with less. And if that's you, hey, turn it around, flip the script on that. Because sometimes in our doing, we go broke. We will go financially and emotionally broke and just doing. So until you have found your purpose, that's in fact what we're doing. We're just doing. But when you find your purpose, that's when the work begins. That's when essentially all hell breaks loose because you're now right on target to be the best that you can be. You're right on target now to fulfill your goal. Because life doesn't mess with us. Life doesn't happen to us just out of circumstance. Because as long as you're being busy, just doing, guess what? You're not a threat essentially. But once you find your purpose, baby, watch out. That's when you become an enemy of the state, essentially. Because now you can focus your attention purposely and arrive where you need to arrive. On time and in full, full gear, being in full tact, everything together. But before you find that purpose, again, we're going to go through some things. Our minds are going to be attacked. There's going to be doubt. There's going to be all kinds of different things going on. But again, when you find your purpose, that's when the trouble begins. Because now, you're, you're on track. You are on track to accomplish that goal, to complete that task. To be the best that you want to be. To arrive at your destination on time. And to help those who are looking for their purpose. Because you've connected someone else that knew their purpose. Their message resonated with you. Someone else is saying, well, your message resonated with me. And so therefore, you are helping them find their purpose because you have found your purpose. This is awesome. And one last thing I would say is to make sure that you're reading. Reading the content that is relevant to your purpose. Just because it has a, an attractive headline doesn't mean that it's worth your time. Make sure that you're focused on what's relevant to where you're going. Make sure that you are on the right track. But before you get on the right track, you've got to find your purpose. Find your purpose. And my name is Curtis Brooks. I am a transformational speaker. And my goal is to help professional men and women create winning mindsets through my transformational speaking, seminars, workshops, 
and coaching. So again, here we're talking about find your purpose. If you would like the information that I've shared with you on today, link up with us here on Facebook. Click the like page, become a part of what I'm sharing here on Facebook. Also, here's my Twitter account. I am Curtis Brooks there on Twitter. And obviously here on Facebook, it's all, I am I am Curtis Brooks also here on Facebook. Again, link up with me here, ask any questions or leave any comments that you might have in the comment area of this, this event here. Again, let me know your thoughts and here and available, happy to help you with any needs or concerns that you might have as it relates to finding your purpose and helping you get on the right track. So again, my name is Curtis Brooks, transformational speaker, here to help and serve you with any question that you might have. Just again, give a shout out there in the comment section of this Facebook Live event and I'll answer it as quickly as possible. Thanks again.